YouTube. Welcome to Harley Day Rider. It's now 7.53 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Today is July the 5th and I'm going for the hog ride, the Harley Owners Group ride that I'm a member of. We are going to Destinations Unknown today and I thought, you know what, it's going to be a beautiful day. So I told the wife, I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and go and uh, if you're not going to be too bored at home by yourself and she's like well go ahead and go have a good time so on this brisk cold morning with the damn shield fogging up it's about uh, 50 we'll call it 58 degrees um, it's not the warmest morning that's for damn sure but uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day so I thought well you know why not why not take the bike out? Go on this Harley ride, you know, with the, with the guys. I mean, I haven't been on a ride. Well, you know, I've been on one on the Sportster. I've never taken out the electric glide uh, with these guys. So, should be a nice, uh, nice day, nice ride. The last time I went, they went on some hellacious twisties, though, man. Scared the living shit right out of me. I mean, they really scared the shit out of me, man. Some of these twisties and bends they were on, you know, it's just, I don't know. And we have trikes that go with us. We have trikes that go with us, and we have, uh, uh, you know, big touring bikes and CVOs, and they're going in these twisties like they're riding you know, dirt bikes. But, uh, but it's a good group of guys. I trust them. Uh, they look out for each other, and I think that's key. That's huge. But, uh, yeah, glad I brought my leather coat this morning. Uh, I got you a new camera angle. I don't know how high we are at this point. But uh, I wanted a new camera angle just in case we wanted to, uh, in case we wanted to get some uh, shots of, you know, the other bikes if I wear this during the ride. And, and I may, and I may not. I'm not sure yet. So do you guys go on group rides? I mean, uh, I'd like to see in the comments, do you do any group stuff? I mean, today I'm probably expecting, if I had to guess, at least 40 motorcycles, I would bet, uh, on this particular day, on this ride. So, who knows for sure. I mean, there could be more, could be less, but 40 at least, maybe 60. Uh, just because people can get this weather report and go, wow, it's going to be that warm out. It's going to be a nice day to take a ride. But uh, right now, huh, right now it sucks. I mean, you're riding, a, you know, I'm doing 50 mile an hour in 58 degree weather. Uh, yeah, glad I got the full face helmet on this morning. And uh, I might wear it just for that fact. Just because it's, it's very... Uh, pleasing to wear. I got the half helmet with me with my sunglasses so you know as it gets nicer through the day I can switch out helmets. That's one thing nice about owning uh, an electric glide you know with a touring pack. You know my buddy yesterday said you could take that touring pack off Jack and I said yeah I could but yeah. and at first I, I told you guys I didn't like it. I hated it but now I'm kind of getting used to it and uh, I'm kind of enjoying uh, having the space to store stuff the trunk is amazing so it's just really nice I'm sure if you guys have a, a touring pack on any of your motorcycles you know what I'm talking about the Sportster had two leather saddlebags and the saddlebags were okay uh, but I couldn't really get my helmets in there they just wouldn't fit so and besides that, besides that, my wife was, uh, like I told you, much more comfortable on the uh, on the electric lot here than anything else. Hey, here's something for the comments. I've been working, talking to NC Stone. He's been helping me out. I just found out I, I bought this bike what two two months ago, something like that. I just found out there's a cigarette lighter plug on it down here on the dash, down here in the bottom. And uh, I've been working with NC Stoney. He has a 2005, I think it is, electric glide. 
and he said he was recommended not to use his for accessories such as your iPhone or your GPS system. Um, I want to know your thoughts. Uh, this is a 2011 electric glide. Can I use it? Uh, can I can I plug my GPS in there? Is it going to be okay? Uh, and Stoney, I did get it to work. I told you the the rubber seal was actually stuck in. It was, they had it like wedged in with the thing backwards, or I don't. It was weird. So I had to leverage it out and pull it out. Now it works great. I can get pull it right out, straight out. Works great. Anyway. Here's another water truck that I tell everybody I love. Gotta love the water trucks. I think he's turning off maybe. No, nope, maybe not. Well, what do you know? So yeah, so NC Stoney said his 2005 electric light, it was, he was told uh, not to use it for his accessories or for his uh, electronics. So I'm just wondering guys, can I use mine for that? 2011 electric line? Is that possible? Huh. You know. Because in the end, you know what I'll do? I'll just plug it in and hopefully it works. Hopefully it don't burn out any circuits on my bike. I mean, I, I, I didn't get a manual with this. I mean, how many people get a manual with their bike? You know, when you buy a used bike, you, I don't know where these manuals go. I don't know if the prior owners eat them or, you know, shred them. I have no idea what they do with these things. I don't know. Oh, well. Hey YouTube, I'll be talking to you here in another section of this video, so I'm just going to put the hammer down here and try to get down to the uh, meetup, talk to you and get closer, hopefully we see some of the bikes as we're pulling in, so uh, I'll talk to you soon. I want to hear about that, one is the cigarette lighter plug for my accessories, and two, have you ever been in group rides? Alright YouTube, I'm out of here, take care, Harley Day Rider! Hammering down to the group ride. Later, guys. Good morning once again. Harley Day Rider here. How's YouTube doing? We are getting close here to the meetup. So I figured I'd come back on and record part two of this day-long journey. I don't know. I don't know if Ray got me worried about this helmet. If you watched any of the videos with Ray, riding with Ray in his uh, 1959 Panhead. Because um, this helmet never bothered me before. And now it's getting to be a pain. A pain in the head. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, so yeah, we're heading down here. This is the little town I told you before of Houston, Pennsylvania. There's a little pancake house right there. It's really good. Uh, I think it said Shelly's Pancake House, Shirley's Pancake House. I don't know the name of it. Uh, I know the food is good. doesn't cost a whole lot of money. So we're getting pretty closer to the meetup. Um, it's 8.14. Kick stands up at 9 a.m. Which uh, nothing against nothing against my beloved Harley group, but I tell you what, that's pretty damn early. Um, I don't know where they're going, but a couple months a year, what we do, we meet up at 11 o'clock. That's a little bit. 10 o'clock would be probably sufficient. Anyway, I don't know. It just seems to me like you know. 
Even at nine o'clock, it's really super early. These are some of the worst twisties right here that I got to deal with. Right here, these are really tight twisties right here. And it will never fail, you'll get a car crash. So if you're not in a group, I suggest that you look up your local Harley owners group where you live. Uh, every The Harley owners group, the HOG as it's known, is an international group. The way it works is you pay $45 for your international membership fee and then $35 to your local chapter. Uh, we talked about this before, I think, way back on one of my Sportster videos. So the local chapters are, are the ones that do all the events in your local area. I mean, we have cookouts, uh, group rides such as today, uh, pig roasts, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. And it's not about drinking. That's what I like about it. We don't go here and get hammered up and get on our Harleys and do wheelies going down the main street or anything. Another bump. What we do is uh, drink, you know, iced tea. Some of the guys will have a beer out, but nobody gets hammered up. Because when I first uh, signed up for this group, I said, wait a minute, to go on this group ride, is that a poker run? Now, a poker run is where you get a, a one card. You get a single card, and then you go to different bars, and they, they deal you a different card. And at the end of the day, after visiting five, six, seven bars, whatever it could be, you show your poker hand and see if you win the money. Uh, and they said, no, 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 Jack, that's not the way this, this uh, organization works. This organization, if you come here and you're hungover, you look like you're drunk or anything to that point, you're not allowed to ride. And uh, that's a big bonus to me. Uh, I don't want to get caught up in that whole thing about riding with, with a bunch of, you know, intoxicated people. I told you guys, I mean, it's nothing for me to go out. I will go out at times and have a dinner with my wife and have a beer or something. We both will and ride home. But we're not going to get hammered up. So, that's the big thing. You know, you don't want to get hammered up and ride this thing. They're dangerous enough by themselves being sober. Dangerous enough being sober. You don't want to ride drunk, that's for sure. These bumps are really killing my shocks today. I gotta remember where to turn up in here. We meet at the Medlands McDonald's, Medlands, Pennsylvania. We're about, uh, you've been down this road with me before. We're about half a mile from the Harley shop. It's actually right here. They should be in, hopefully they're starting to be in that parking lot. I don't see shit up there. Plus I'm too early. Hard to say. I see nobody up there. That makes no freaking sense at all. I have to double check my uh, email, but I know it said McDonald's. I know that's what it said. There's a guy over there. Burger King, but I don't even think it's a Harley. in the right place. Get us some in. Okay, 
catch you later, YouTube.